Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here. Get ready for Gnosis. Well, I want to point out an interesting uh, bit of information that was sent to me about mind control. Nanoparticles allow remote control of cells. Well, this has been um, thought of as happening for a long time now with the actual remote experimentation on what appears to be millions of people who are being psychotronically terrorized, as it's called, where it seems to be affecting people's consciousness. Things are beamed at them. And we also believe that all these different substances that have been dropped through all these um, uh, chemicals that are put in the atmosphere and dropped uh, are, again, parasitical in nature that is spread throughout the population that goes into individuals and uh, creates a domain for parasites uh, to live. And this is quite frightening when you think about it as a way of controlling people. As we get into all these things out there, it's quite shocking. We also uh, have to understand our, the viruses we're experiencing now, while there is a trail of them being man-made, which I personally believe, um, we can certainly trace this back to the Chinese, and they certainly don't have the good of anybody in mind, even though they own the world. Um, were these things possibly even uh, extraterrestrial in nature? But before we get into that, which is a different uh, area of discussion, let's get back to these nanoparticles. Now, these nanoparticles, and nanoparticles is where a major amount of research is going into and the um, new reality that we get into, which is making tiny machines, machines that can do all sorts of wonderful things, kill cancer cells, etc. Um, now, how they're going to be able to do this at a cost that anybody can afford who knows? I mean, there's so-called medical breakthroughs really never get anywhere because of the fact that they're too expensive. And if they are ever gotten to a level, they're so expensive that nobody can afford it but the super rich. Uh, people, uh, you know, there's an argument going on where people can't even get basic medical care. You can't get antibiotics. You can't go to your doctor because people can't afford the basics. Now we want to have implants and nanobots and all the things that are going to cost a fortune. Um, that nobody can afford. So it's kind of stupid technology if you think it's ever going to get to you where it never has. And we don't have any cures, and we haven't had a cure for anything uh, since antibiotics were created in the late 40s, early 50s, when penicillin came on the scene. Since then, nothing has changed, and nothing has been cured. Uh, so this is important to understand. Yet we hear this all the time. We're close, we're close, we're close. Well, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, people. Doesn't count in any other place. So the point is, is that uh, there are millions of people being psychotronically terrorized, going through uh, these things that are beamed at them, hearing things. And, other. and, you know, they're all classified as nut jobs. There's too many of them to be nut jobs. And these are average people. What is causing this? Well, there does seem to be a biochemical reality here where there's parasites uh, that are being transferred to people's, uh, into people's bodies. Um, and then they are being activated, or maybe they just get activated over time, but there is thought that they're activated through some psychotronic or frequency type machines. Now, these can be radionic consciousness type machines that are being uh, used on people, which the government has very advanced of these, not the childish stuff you see on the net, but they have very advanced where they can target individuals. Uh, there's also been a more direct way of doing things, of implanting messages, thoughts, etc., through magnetic beams, which is something the government has admitted that they're doing and can influence you. They can send thoughts into you, uh, all sorts of things using magnetic beams. So they hit you with a magnetic beam of whatever you want and you do what they want. So here's another uh, little breakthrough in nanotechnology, which uh, um, uh, to alter human behavior. Well, isn't this really f fascinating that nanoparticles of magnesia ferrite uh, were injected into the body of uh, worms um, and these worms, uh, then uh, these uh, were triggered or they actually heated up these, because basically you're putting a metal in there. Yeah, so yeah, I wonder, tiny little metal Gee, I wonder if you could do that with a vaccination.
<laughs> so the whole idea is that um, so then they triggered radio frequency uh, that these particles to heat up and they were and they were able to heat the particles up at a distance with a radio wave now you don't have to touch anybody once they're injected you do this at a distance and what distance matters well technically distance shouldn't matter at all so they heated it up and they affected the movement of these actual worms go back and forth at will by heating it up. And when and of course this is a very primitive thing. Of course you wouldn't hear about the more advanced ones, would we? Well, of course not. So the whole idea is that um, these kind of things can be injected in people. And as far as I understand, this has already been done. Uh, on many different levels. So this is just showing more of how these nano uh, particles, which can solve all our problems, but we know that nothing solves our problems because only evil, corrupt people do anything. And good people uh, acquiesce, bend down, kowtow, uh, because they got a dog, a cat, kids, a house. So the point is everybody gives in uh, to these things because they want to keep uh, their own reality going. And I understand that. We need to build a system that protects people uh, from not having to be influenced by these uh, very evil people around the world. So by creating magnetic fields within a body, you can send any type of information in there. Now they claim to use these things, of course, um, um, you can activate the uh, electrical activity in nerve cells. You can go after cancer cells. You can do so many things here. And as I mentioned, for a low price of $50 million a shot. <laughs> so you'll be getting it tomorrow, won't you? So the whole idea is that all of this stuff has, uh, will be as everything has ever been invented, like every single tool or military in, uh, tool that's ever been invented has been used against its own people. Let's keep that in mind as well. So this is quite fascinating, though, but now we can have, by injecting something, uh, we can uh, send this energy uh, remotely and affect a person, and now we have done it here. It doesn't really matter whether it's a worm or a person or a dog or a cat or whatever it is, you can affect this. Now, how do you get these in people? Well, you know, uh, there's lots of ways, and you know, your vaccinations are full of toxins. So, uh, and of course, now, what is the big thing that everything's going to happen to everybody? Well, they're going to get vaccinated for this uh, bizarre uh, flu we have going on uh, that seems to get worse and worse conveniently. Um, so the whole idea is these kind of things have been going on for a long time. There's all sorts of toxins that have been in vaccinations. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, in my personal opinion, and the research I've done, vaccinations have no proof that they work whatsoever. There's only one thing that has been proven from vaccinations, is that a percentage of the people vaccinated will get that disease. Now, I was vaccinated for all these things, and I got all the disease, measles, chicken pox, guess what, I got them all. Uh, after being vaccinated, and so did all my friends that got vaccinated. As far as I'm concerned, they do absolutely nothing. It's bogus science, like all science basically is bogus, pushed by a bunch of, of scaredy-cat little cowards that are only concerned about their own personal meal ticket. So none of this really has any value. And until it's proven to have value, whatever that means, so you get a study from somebody who's bought off, who's a liar and a cheat, and they tell you, yeah, it's good for you. Oh, yeah, well, you're a scientist. Let's believe him. So the whole idea is this is the uh, horrible thing that goes on. There's also, I've been able to put together through many different people, including uh, doctors uh, that I've personally spoken to, that they've had patients who have had horrible reactions from vaccinations and even died. This is covered by the... Um, fantastic uh, now past uh, Dr. Mayfield who I have his videos on my channel who talks about a kid who was graduating from high school who's for some bizarre reason the principal of the school forced him to get vaccinated or wouldn't give him his diploma well what does that have to do with anything it seems that almost the kind of sick evil well this guy who was a star football player in fantastic shape never was sick in his life got the vaccination and died two weeks later at i believe mayfield's office so he personally saw this and he's a very credible person also other doctors had this 
and it goes on and on with children who've been given these shots uh, that um, have been uh, get horrible responses. Some pass out, almost die uh, from the reactions of getting these shots that toxify their body. So um, this is something that is not a fantasy, it's a reality. So anytime anything is injected in your body, you have to be very careful of it. The vaccinations that I got and a whole generation after that came up with so many different diseases, I think there's a direct correlation personally. They were grown in green monkey kidneys who have all these chronic fatigue diseases, who have AIDS and other things. Uh, these green monkey kidneys, which is what a horrible thing to kill an animal to grow a bacteria in. But of course, they have their own problems, which you just passed on from the primates or the green monkeys into you. Oh, thank you, science. Oh, what a day. Let's party. So the whole idea is that this is the kind of garbage that continues to go on. But here's another frightening example of what's happening in this reality uh, of here we go again. And remember, these kind of little reports are the tip of the iceberg. What's really going on is that the science that is really had or understood by the military and others is a hundred years ahead of what we have now. Think how frightening that is. So if you think all of these things are something that's just a common breakthrough now, well, you're kidding yourself. Things have been around for a hundred years, mind reading machines. Um, all these other things are out there. Anti-gravity, all of these things. I've seen mind uh, uh, reading machines in action and I've seen the planes that have anti-gravity firsthand. So I know they exist. Now, everybody can just laugh these things off, but the bottom line is, is that the creation and the use of uh, cultons and psions to uh, ultimately even get past all of these things. Because if you can control uh, uh, cultons and psions, you can then, uh, of course, control the nanobots and everything else because you can then neutralize these within your body to function properly or to be kicked out. So ultimately, the study of the occulton and scions is the ultimate science, which we hope to put a lot of time into in the next few years to develop some very potent technology uh, to counter so many of these things. So the fact is, is that if these things get in you and they're in your brain and everything else, they can send uh, uh, magnetic energy fields programmed to tell you what to do. Now we add that in with the parasites that go into your brain and tell you what to do. Uh, you've got some pretty scary stuff here. I mean this toxemia where these worms go in your head like in a Star Trek movie and tell you what to do is not fantasy. It's not even future science. It's here now and has been documented. It also uh, has in a latest report I've uh, gotten, uh, I've just read, is that it can affect and works through sexuality as well. It can affect your sexuality. Now this is something that uh, whoever these evil controllers are have been playing with for many years. People are getting very sexually confused to higher levels. Well, every 150th person considers themselves to be transsexual. They're not sure what they are. They want to change their sex. We have at least 40% of the population added onto that that is gay or bisexual. Well, well, this has always been a case to a certain degree. Uh, it seems to be now that this is even higher cases. And of course, if you can control someone's sexuality, their dominant force in life, well, that means you can use and abuse them for whatever you want. And it causes more social chaos for whatever the values of this are. It's hard to believe that people think this is valuable to have a bunch of confused people out there. So as we understand all these things, it's happening now. This is not a joke. Now, what is the answer to this? And I'm a man with answers. I don't preach terror. There's an answer to everything. Most people will give you garbage information, like so many out there, David Icke, etc., who want to terrorize you and probably is even working for the people he claims to be against. Because all he spreads is fear. 
and fear disables you. No answers, no support for those who have answers, no nothing. Well, I do have answers. And the bottom line is it's all about occultons and science. It's all about using consciousness-empowered technology, meaning highly amplified, delivered with photonic energies, to create fields to stop these kind of things from manifesting. And it starts with the individual and grows from there. So you can see, of course, how dangerous that technology is and why I am constantly harassed to this day, because we're on the edge of it. But this is exciting for everything, because everything is an occulton energy field. Wealth, success, healing, you name it. And you can form those energy fields around you and attract those energies to you. You can also change physical matter. Theoretically, you could change lead into gold. So all of this can happen if you can change that. Now, we've uh, had a uh, already uh, reports of things like this happening out there. But you know, you're not going to get this kind of information consistently. They're giving you the tips of the iceberg. But these people who are being terrorized out there from these things, certainly we can now know that this isn't something new. It's not even pretty, it's not even very spectacular because what you're doing is just injecting some basically magnesium furi, which is basically just a type of metal. You know, all minerals, I don't know if people understand. When you take minerals, mineral supplement, it's metals. You're taking metals. So the whole idea is all these things uh, when they enter the body and so forth. But here they put in a larger amount uh, at the nano scale. And of course, it goes through the entire body. It could even possibly go into the brain barrier. Why not pass that? Nanoparticles can do that. And then you have these kind of effects. So these are some fun things to think about, people. And of course, like with everything in life, there's a positive and good things. But, you know, I don't see anything happening. We refuse to heal people because money is only in sickness. Now they... In, now now the companies that want to heal people don't want to bother even researching new toxic drugs. They want to just raise the prices of the old ones, make billions of dollars by doing nothing. From what I understand, their research funds with the billions and billions they make is like 2 or 3% invested in research. Um, well, isn't that nice? So as we move on to these things, but like everything else, the cutting edge out there is the manifesting sciences. The manifesting sciences, which is basically a subtle energy physics, is the answer to everything. It's something that everyone should get highly involved in. And watch for my uh, new courses and books to come out in this in the future. But like everything else, it's a lot of work and it's going to take time. Until next time.